The streets are clearing, the basketball courts are being set up as crews begin to transform downtown Spokane into Hoop Town USA before Hoop Fest begins tomorrow. And right now, thousands of players are gearing up for the first round of games starting as early as 8 o'clock in the morning. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kirsten O'Connor. <laughs> Jordan Smith. Aaron has the night off. And while Spokane will be busy with Hoop Fest, Coeur d'Alene will be packed for Iron Man this weekend. We have team coverage tonight. Bronte Sorotsky in Coeur Lane with how competitors are preparing for the triathlon. Meteorologist Matt Gray keeping an eye on the skies and has what you can expect for the action-packed weekend. But we'll begin with Allison Martinez, who's in downtown Spokane, where Hoop Fest preparations are underway. Allison. I'm here in downtown Spokane where your window to move your vehicle off the street has officially come to a close. We're here in Spokane Falls Boulevard and as you can see, we're doing a pretty good job. You can also see the backboards behind me that are ready for volunteers to start setting up. Now earlier today, I spoke with some Hoop Fest fans about how they're feeling ahead of this weekend. Saturday, the long-awaited Hoop Fest 2023 will officially begin. Already, people from all over are visiting Riverfront Park to get a preview of the fun. Everyone is feeling one main emotion. It's really exciting. I'm excited to see how the event goes. I'm just really excited to play with my friends again because uh, I had a lot of fun last year. Today, the University of Idaho basketball team led first through sixth graders in a skills clinic. Ashlyn Wallace has played in Hoop Fest since she was little, but this year, she's lending a hand as a college athlete. This year I'm volunteering, helping out the little kids, getting them, you know, used to basketball and hopefully they start playing. We couldn't do it without the volunteers. Michael Metcalf These has been a Hoop Fest volunteer for more than 20 years. He credits the people behind the scenes for the event's success. Some of them show up year after year and um, volunteer their time and sit in the hot sun and do the work. So it's, uh, it's a great event because of, in my opinion, because of the volunteers that we have. It's a great city for volunteers. Team check-in takes place until 7 p.m. Friday, but if you can't make it, the last check-ins will be Saturday from 6.30 to noon in the Central Plaza. Here's some key information before all the fun begins tomorrow. Friday night, street parking in downtown Spokane is closed at 6. Saturday, there are a few options. All garages will be available, and the Park Aid is offering day and weekend passes. Street parking where available is paid until 7 and free all day Sunday. Spokane Transit Authority is also offering shuttle services. Stay hydrated, stay sunscreened up, and sunglasses, all the good things. And Gary, have some fun with play basketball. We're excited to see you tomorrow, whether you're going to be playing on the court or cheering from the stands. For more information on Hoop Fest, you can go to our website, kxly.com. Reporting from downtown Spokane, I'm Allison Martinez.